from. I'm ready whenever, wherever. We're meant to be together. Welcome to Rumpus Studio. I'm Joe Baggy Donuts, and this is the Radio No Man. Appreciate everybody who always tunes in. Um, it's great to have you, and we hope that you enjoy our show. So, without further ado, I will just let you know I'm here with Slam. Hey, hey. And the beard, as always. Hey. Hey, how are you guys doing? Doing well. Scale one to ten, how was your last Fortnite Slam go? Seven. Okay, that's pretty good. That's admirable. Thank you. Thank you. What'd you do? Oh, all kinds of stuff. Um, Mm -hmm. Mostly a lot of prepping. I feel like everybody I know is getting married this year. Well, the second round of everybody I know. Um, So I had to go buy a new suit. Well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. That was kind of exciting. There's a lot of options out there. You have to wear a suit. To a wedding? No, but why not? I what mean, color? how often do you? Oh, uh, it's uh, it's like chalk blue. Ah, chalk full of blue. Mm-hmm. Chalk full of blue. No, you know what? I don't think I'm describing that right. It's pretty dark. It's like dark but bright blue. I don't know. It's just like blue. Dark but bright blue. I don't. Is that like it's very, um, royal blue? Maybe. Okay. Is that? Yeah, I think, I think I'm picturing it. Is it like a very pastel-y? No, Ooh, no, no, that's not really a word, but it's not. Just think it, of it. It's, it's think not pastel. It. It's not muted at all. It's it's true blue. Do you have flares on the sleeves and on the uh, bottom of the legs? No, it's a very uh, it's a very thin cut suit. Mm. It, uh, like see through? No, no, oh, just like bummer. it. It, 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 you know, it it, uh, it accents my legs and my form. What about your pectorals? Uh, it makes my tits look great. That's yes. good. Uh, it's a sign of a good suit. Yeah, It'll work well with some uh, some white some white patent leather shoes. You know, get myself a nice thin tie. It's uh it's gonna be a good day. Damn, where do you get a suit like that? Like, did you have it tailored and stuff? Yeah. Is it like, was it expensive? Um, well, I've got it online on deal, so it cost me about a hundred bucks, and oh, then the that's ta- not expensive. No, 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 <laughs> the, and then the tailoring, um, the tailoring cost another like sixty. Imagine if your name was Taylor and you were a tailor. Taylor the Taylor? That'd be yeah. awesome. I bet you could sell that. I'm willing to bet there's one of them out there, at least. That'd be sweet if your store was called Taylor the Taylor, but your name was like Steve Johnson or something. Oh, Just to or get people in the door. What if your name, first and last name was Taylor? So you were Taylor, Taylor the Taylor, and your street, your <laughs> shop was on Taylor Street in the city of Taylor, and then uh, Taylor- United States. Taylor, Nebraska or something. Oof. So what Nebraska, you'd be Taylor, 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 the Taylor, on Taylor in Taylor, Taylor, Nebraska. The yeah. Taylor's the county. Oh, yeah. yeah. Forgot about that part. Yeah. Right, right. Taylor County. Can't forget Taylor County. I feel like you could just name the store Taylor, Taylor. Mm-hmm. You could just name it Taylor, comma, Taylor, comma, Taylor, dot, dot, dot. People would get it. Or you could call it Taylor, 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 nothing's made of clay. Yeah. <laughs> what? The Jewish business, you know. Uh, no, that's no, I, no, no, dreidel, no. dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of clay. Nothing. Nobody's heard the dreidel song. Oh, I made it out of clay. That's the words. Yeah. Really? I thought yeah. it was. I like to play. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I like to play. Ha. Huh. Yep. I don't feel like you have a lot of rhythm, Joe. Yeah. A little nope. worried about you and your rhythm, dude. Section. You know what I'm super pumped about. What? No. It's nice it's nicer out now, so I I mowed my lawn. You're pumped that you got to mow your lawn. Uh-huh. I love mowing lawns. Really? I got a lawn. You want to mow it? You know what else I like? Mm. Money. So, can we combine the two? No. Uh. But yeah, you can give me money. Well, you just buy your suit. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. I'm broke. <laughs> I spent $100. That's like most of my paycheck. Plus you wins saw Taylor Taylors. On Taylor, the Taylor. Yeah, exactly. And got my suit tailored by mm-hmm. Taylor. Taylor. It's like if your name was Doctor, if your last name was Doctor, so you would be Doctor Doctor. 
My optometrist name is, is Chad Doctor. Oh, really? So he's Doctor Doctor. Huh. Do you often ask him to give you the news <laughs> and then laugh to yourself while he just like shakes his head because he hears it all the time? Uh, I haven't, but it's. I, let me write that down for next time. I remember I worked at Subway once, and there used to be that rap dance advertisement. You guys remember? Oh, I the thought you were gonna dance? say that you, one of your coworkers' name was Subway. Oh no no no! But there, everybody would come in and ask you to do the dance. It's just like no. I don't remember the dance. Yeah. Uh, Did you do it? Uh probably. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, that's pretty good. You're not really moving much, but hold on. The the, the finale's right here. Ah, good. Ow. It looks good. I should have uh, scratched first. Just, maybe we'll get the the web. I think feed. I saw your butthole a little bit when you were doing that. Yeah. No, I should really put pants on. I'm sorry. Or at least a belt. Yeah. I'm just like, or at least sew up. <laughs> like, you need to go to a tailor and sew up that hole. <laughs> just put a belt on vertically. I'm headed to Taylor, Taylor, Nebraska. And then uh, I should probably go uh, talk to Dr. Doctor to get that thing checked out. It was looking a little funky. He's an optometrist. I don't know what good he's going to do. Yeah, you can look at your brown eye. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> oh, that do reminds you go me. See an optometrist? Um, what could that remind hey, you of? Hey, so this whole show, I'm. Um, <laughs> I would really appreciate it if instead of any, if you ever feel like saying the word poop or shit or in reference to poop or shit, please use the word dung this show instead. What? D- dung. Oh, dung. Yeah. Okay. So, it, so like if you need to take a dung, there's a toilet inside. <laughs> what if I just wanted to say like, oh, dung. Does that, is that still the same? I mean, it's still sure, the same yeah. word. Okay. Yeah. Um, like any, any instance where shit or poop. Yeah. Find dung. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, what if it's contained within another word? By the way, I, my pits smell like dung today. I noticed. Okay. Right when I came in, I was like, oof, this place smells like dung. Somebody didn't shower today. Yeah. Mm. That's dungy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh-huh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> also, I, uh, some axe. I like? got a new comp- or I got I acquired another computer. The fact that you changed your wording, d- did you steal this thing? Yeah, who'd you get that <laughs> like, from? Your mama? Yeah, my mom borrowed me her computer. Loaned you? Loaned yeah. me? Yeah. Or yeah, I borrowed my mom's computer. Yeah, yeah. Borrow from, loan too. She um. We're she, learning things, guys. She gave you a loaner. Yeah. Nice. Um, Your mom so it's you nice. Be- it's really nice, though, because, like, if I'm just out here, you know, in the rumpus room and listening to m- t- want to listen to some tunes, I don't have to lug my laptop out here. Oh, yeah. Because that's. <laughs> so you just have to lug that new desktop out here? Well, it's already. It stays out here. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Because it's the weather is seasonable. So you don't have to worry about it um, turning to ice. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really nice. It's great. It's like. I just get out here. My my arms aren't sore from bringing that laptop out. Uh, it takes me a lot less time to get out here now, too. I noticed though your muscles they look really flaccid and flabby. Actually, you've been looking really dungy lately. Well, it's just from not doing any working out and. Uh, yeah, because you're not bringing your laptop. You know, you get it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I uh, I think he's implying that that's the only exercise you get. Well, right. it was the only exercise but I, I got. I was noticing the same thing. Like, both of your muscles are starting to look really just, pretty loose. Just bad. Well, I also kind of like that because I like when, when you can wave and my and your arms flab. They flap back and forth. <laughs> Have you tried jumping off the roof to see if the, you can, like, catch them in the air like a squirrel? Sure. Uh, I don't think I'm at that point yet. Okay. Yeah. Sometime, at some point, it would be nice. Is that what you're working on? Working no, towards? I'm not working towards that. Oh, okay. Mostly, I was just working towards the being able to have... The bottom of of my bicep just sway back and <laughs> forth when I wave. I just like the look of it and the feel of it too. Cut to beard sitting alone in a room, just like waving and staring at his. Well, arm. another thing that I do is like it's kind of like a little flirty thing I do with girls is I wave that flab over their nose, like <laughs> just kind of tickle their nose a little bit. <laughs> do that, how's that been working for you? I don't know. Uh, Scale of one to ten. Mi- mixed results. Well, we'll see. You know, it's like you, you, you don't know if a girl's going to call you back until it's been a while. Fair, fair enough. How long do you wait before you, gi- before you give up hope that she's going to call? Uh, you know, maybe mm, 24 to 48 Does it make weeks. noise when you, <laughs> when you wave? Um, I, I, I guess, Let's yeah. hear it. Let's try it. Okay. <laughs> 
definite noise. Oh my god. <laughs> I think if somehow you're able to like mute real life, they might call you. But well, if they hear that, and I here I was going to say, be, see it going well. Before I had my doubts about whether or not it would work, but now I am sure <laughs> it will work. Well, it's more about the tickling that really gets them. Yeah. Interested. They can just they can like overlook the <laughs> the flapping and the the sightliness of it and mm-hmm. it, like it just feels so good being tickled. Yeah, you know, it's like cute. It's cute. It's it's funny, you know. I just do it for fun. They they have a good time, I have a good time. <clears throat> All good. We laugh, we joke around. Yeah. As long as everyone's having fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see if it, you know we'll see if it works. What do you call this move? I don't have a name for it, but Sam, uh, we got another email from TCF, so just FYI. Oh, really? They must be hard up. Abbreviation overload. Oh, uh, the the bank that you applied for. Yeah, sure. Okay. The job. And for your information was the other one that you said. Oh, yeah. That's acronyms right Mm -hmm. there. Those are called acronyms. Is that the theme for this week? No. No, What's the theme, Joe? But thanks for bringing it up. The theme is vacations. All right. So along the same lines, kind of. I've already gone to Carolina in my mind. Oh. So, oh. why? Well, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, I no want to know why you'd go to Carolina, but that sounds like a great question to talk about when we're talking about vacations. 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 Yeah, that was the beard. vacations. 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 Um, well, Peter, did you want to read that email now or? Did sure, you, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. We got an email. Um, let me pull it up one sec. You guys, uh, quick, do something to kill some time. All right. Um, hey, what's what's your favorite animal? Is that the whole God, question? Seriously? Okay. To, to dance with? Oh, there it is. See, because what you said sounded like a preemptory statement, so yeah. I was just kind of waiting for the okay. rest of the uh, question. My favorite animal to dance with? I guess the only animal I've ever actually danced with is a dog. Naked. Oh, uh, naked? Nuts to butts. Nuts to butts. That was the end of my question. So a dog? Okay, that's um, gross. Yeah, no. No, I don't. Disgusting. Actually, I can't think of any oh, animal. Okay, yeah, let's um I'd like to Let's get to this uh Oh, yeah. hey. Oh. Did that just come in now? No. Oh. Uh this one this email says, "Hi. I listen Hello. to your sh- <laughs> I listened to your show about conversation. One thing you didn't bring up is when people make comments about the conversation you're currently engaged in." Like when people say something like, oh my God, are we actually talking about this right now? Oh, or, that's horrible. Oh, this is a good conversation. What's with that? It's annoying and such a conversation killer. It's from Damon. Damon, yeah. you got a damn point. Yeah. A damn good point. Mm-hmm. Not just a damn one. So I feel like we could have a really good conversation about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, you well, would. you know, I think that sometimes, um, I think that sometimes people don't know what else to say and maybe feel like they need to say something and so it's just like quick what do i say and maybe like that's an easy one that comes to their mind is like oh 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 man i can't believe we're talking about this or something like that i i feel like usually when i hear that statement it's like i can't believe we're talking about this like yeah almost like a they don't want to have that conversation but instead of just like walking out of the circle they want to like or when someone's like what are we 12 Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's really the bad. worst. Because that's not even how old we are. Mm-hmm. I usually say I'm 11. Uh, they just have a really bad. That way I can drink. Sense of, you know, how old everybody in the conversation is. So I can get why it's a weird conversation for them because they're just really, they're totally out of the loop. They think they're talking to to teenagers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, some people are just confused. You know, yeah, dementia. That's dementia tough. will get us all. But yeah, that is horrible. I can't stand it when people do that. Damon. Yeah. Good question, Damon. Good. Uh, yeah. Thanks so, for the letter. So I guess I just have to say what is up with that in my response. I don't know what's up with that, but I hate it. Yeah. It's a really kind of a dungy thing to do if you're in a conversation. It makes the conversation turn to dung. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I got no kind of sentence that involves the word dung ready. Except that one. Well. Good yeah. work. Hey, thank you. Again, is that the theme? No, it's, it's just it's just a little it's just a little game we're gonna a play. Game a little, well, you know, it's just it's a family program. Sorry, I feel like I'm on a mental vacation here. Yeah, this is a family program, you know. So we like to keep things very clean. Mm-hmm. And we like to we like to weed out all the bulldog yeah. out of this show. 
Yeah. We like to try and get money from our family to to get us computers. Yeah, for this show. Yeah. It's cut right through the dung. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No dung about it. Oh, no dung? Nice. Well, we used that one. We uh, probably overdid that one a little bit. Huh? What, the dung thing? <laughs> yeah. I feel like we could get like one more in. Joe? Man, did I tell you that someone smashed into my car? No. It sucked. That's okay. It's getting paid for, so no problem. That's the dung right there. That will make your day turn to dung. Uh, You're right. We could get one more in. How did you know? (laughs) There'll be a lot more, uh, you know, dung talk probably. I hope not, but maybe there will be when we come back. Uh, Hey, girl's going to join us too. No mad. Every time. What's up, hey girl? Hey, how's it going? Good, I'm well. How about the rest of you guys? Do you have anything you'd like to say to hey girl? Hey girl. Say something hey about her hair. I want to say hi. Hi. You look hi cute. Hi, Thanks. You, look, you look cute tonight. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to mimic. You're welcome. I was trying to mimic uh, the, the soundboard. You look cute tonight. Yeah. Uh, there it Gucci is. Goo. <laughs> Tickle, tickle. I thought we were just doing voices tonight. You look cute we tonight. Can do that. Should we just have an only voice segment? Yeah. Does it, it, everything you say has got to be in a different voice? What if you do it in a different accent? Is that legitimate? Yes. Sweet. <laughs> I can't do it. I can. Uh, oh, I wasn't sure who that was. I can get that I done. That was me. Joe Bag of Donuts. You What's be- that in your pocket? <laughs> I realized the more I try and impersonate you, Joe, the more I my impression of you turns into an old gold prospector. Hmm. Really? Thank you. Yeah, I think. definitely. I'll just take that as a compliment. I you guess. should buy some overalls. Oh yeah, I really need do need to invest in a nice pair of overalls. Mm-hmm. I feel like all the that's it's it's in again. Yeah. Oh, definitely. There's no underpants, overalls, no undershirt. You gotta roll up the pant legs a little yep. bit. Yep. You gotta so either shoeless. wear shoeless or thong sandals. Thong sandals, I guess, would work. With a straw hat. Is that what those are called? <laughs> or like the sombrero looking ones that are just kind of tannish. Well, they are usually made of straw in my mind. So, so. yeah, I call them a straw hat. And yeah. then you gotta be eating a piece of dung. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta have a, have a little piece of dung hanging out of your mouth or yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, hey, girl, what you been up to? You been on any dates or anything? Yeah. How's that, your boy? How's yeah. your boo? Yeah, it's still dating him. Oh. It's, been it's getting serious. Not at all serious. It's been four weeks, which is pretty good for me. It's pretty good for you? Yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, how many times have you seen him in, in the four weeks? Which yeah. is how How often are you seeing him currently? Not often at all. At all. Not once, okay. once Not a often week. enough. Yeah, actually. You just crave. Maybe he's playing it right. He's playing it cool. You're just craving him. Boys do that all the time. God, they're such jerks. They're such teases. They are huge teases. What no, that's actually, actually what's going on. I just never see him, and he never makes it I guess a priority at certain times to even want to see me I'm not sure if I said that right but and it gets a little frustrating at times so yeah I know have you tried just laying it down no because I didn't know if if you ain't interested I'll back up I didn't know if that was if if we're in an appropriate length of time of dating 
to say anything yet. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're still on the just lie to each other all the time phase? I think we're still sure. just not say anything to disrupt anything The way phase. I... Yeah, oh. I guess I get that. You know? Um, go ahead. I was just going to say, the way I see it is, I'm 30. You're probably getting close. If not, you're already like 45. I don't know. Yeah. You're close somewhere between 18 and 80. Yeah. I know that much. Yep. Huh. And... Yeah, and you're looking good, that's whatever a, age that's you a are. Really hot, yeah. That's a really hot age. Uh, 18, <laughs> between 18 and 80, yeah. Um, I, I'm 30 now. I, I just don't give a shit. Like, I don't really have time to not be yeah. myself. Yeah. And, like, play dating games or whatever. I'm going to just, yo, you want to kick it? No? Peace. Yeah. Like. Yeah, for sure. I think that's at the point I'm getting at. And if, you know, if even if we do finally, quote, unquote, make plans... And I say that because wow. there not, it's nothing ever written in stone, and it ends up with me getting text messages saying, can we push it back an hour? Can we push it back an hour? And it's just really kind of annoying. That's oh, weird. yeah, that is weird. But that seems more like a character flaw rather than any sort of, like, dating thing. Like, who who makes plans with someone and then, like, con- like continually asks to push it back, like, by an hour or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that I, doesn't sound like somebody who's interested in in my mind. Like, I don't know. I to just, me, if I somebody was just like, I'm a, you know, barely know you, and you're just going to mm-hmm. push back an appointment. Go ahead. But that here. doesn't really seem like it has anything to do with dating, or or the process of dating. It just seems like that's, that's the type of person they are. Yeah, it's but, just acceptable for them to be like, oh yeah, this you had this deadline. It, yeah. Oh well, I decided to change it to an hour from then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think I've. I don't think I've ever had someone who does that to me like in any like repeatedly or with any sort of consistency. Yeah. I like mean, friend or date or anything like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's not as bad as I may be making it out to be, but it's just because I just feel like we're at this point where I'm just not even sure if we're on the same page with what we're looking for from each other. Like, I have no idea. We haven't really talked about it. Oh, that's so, day one stuff gotta get that out of the way like why are we here (laughs) not that family are we gonna get a house in the suburbs or in the city that kind of thing no you're talking about no more like are you looking for like a relationship are you looking for just somebody to date and have fun with you know when you have time or whatever and it just feels like a very familiar path with me waiting on their time wait a minute did you get friend zoned hey girl and you don't realize it yet Maybe. Why? Oh what God. makes you think that? Oh my God! I think you got friend zoned. What makes I you don't think that? I think that happened. No. I think he's just yanking your noodle. Also, I can talk shit to anybody on this show, but hey, girl. He's, oh no! I guys, it's gonna spoil my fun. He's yanking your crank. So, um, but does hey does he have any pet names for you? Yet? Yet? No. That's not a first four weeks thing. No. What about Tootsie? No. What about? What about um. Snookums. Oh, that's a good one. What if he called you Snookums? Would you be okay with that? I mean, I'd probably just laugh. Well, what if I wouldn't be mad about it. I mean, would you be okay with him, any he, guy? Would you be okay with a pet named Tootsie? Sure. What about sure. Tootsie? Well, that's my old cat's name, so that would be weird. What about you had just, a cat named Tootsie? Yeah. What, what about just Tootsie? <laughs> Tootsie. Yeah, I'm not an 80 year old woman. <laughs> so if you're like introducing him to, or he was introducing you to his. Family is like, hey, this is my um, love of my life. Uh, hey, girl. Uh, I, I just, but she likes to be called Toots. That'd what? be okay. That's not how pet names work. <laughs> you don't say like, oh, hey, hey, oh, family. I was thinking nicknames. Hey, Sorry. family. This is, uh, you know, this is hey, girl. Uh, but uh, you can call her babe. You know, yeah. I call her babe, so yeah. you guys can call her babe. Uh, yeah, I had nickname and pet name confused. I feel like pet so, name, you don't even like introduce it when you walk no. in the room. You know, it just mm-hmm. comes out. You, yeah. It's just what you call them. Right. And if I were to give you a pet name, hey girl, mm-hmm. uh, it'd probably be, um, it'd probably be like, I don't know, like melons or something like that. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Melons. That's oh, a good one. No, just melon, actually. Just melon? Yeah. Melanoma. I'll, I'll just call it's you. Short for that. I'll be like, hey, you with the gams. What are gams? What are gams? Or are you yeah. just saying gums? Gams. With, with a no, it's a, it's an old, it's kind of an older world yeah. term for legs. Legs, uh, okay. Uh. Nice legs. Look at them yeah. gams. Our oh boogers. my god. Well, so here's I have a question. Here's I the thing. That, this his, is not the time for you to ask questions. His birthday <laughs> is coming up in like a few days. 
and I probably won't see him on his birthday, to be quite honest. I'll probably be hanging with his friends and family, which I have not been invited to even hang with his friends yet, even, which I kind of think is weird. Aww. Mm-hmm. You know? But, um, but, I mean, so do I just send him a text and say happy birthday and call it a day? Send him a text that says HB. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's like the then classic. Then you can play his game. Yeah. Of, like, yeah. not really trying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I could. I could just. I feel like that is what's warranted in this situation. Yeah. It's just texting him and saying happy birthday. Yeah. Like, okay. I think you, you want to get him a gift? No, I don't no. think so. Well, the thing is, is you could get, a, get him a gift and it could be really something that's like, you know, really cheap, but like also something that's good, you know, something that he'd actually like. Okay. So like what? Stick on googly eyes. <laughs> yep. That is a solid gift. Everybody likes stick on googly eyes. Yep. Oh. They're like $3 mm-hmm. and um, they're funny and, you know, it's just not something that's serious. Okay. That's a good idea. I like it. Thank and you. also if they're like upset and confused, like why would I want these? Then you know they suck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good, I don't know. Could point. you still be upset and confused after looking at an entire package of googly eyes? Like, well, that's the Sam's point. Just laughter. That's Sam's point. Is, oh, I see. Maybe I give it to him while I start up a serious conversation about where our relationship is going. Yeah. And then I say, wait, like, okay. by the way, here's some googly eyes. <laughs> All right. By the way, here's Listen. your gift. Oh, that's actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> Listen here, we need to have a, we need to have a talk <laughs> and you establish exactly where you are. But first, here's this packet of googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be quite funny, actually. That would be a good play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, yeah. The googly eye. I feel like I'm definitely not just just not getting what I really want, and I don't know. Which is what? Yeah, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I just want to have, you know, more time with him, more dates. It doesn't feel like we're really dating anymore. See, that's what you want, I think, is intimacy. Yeah, intimacy. I've been thinking about I've been thinking about this kind of a thing. Being intimate with you. (laughs) (laughs) Beard's always thinking that. Yeah, I mean, well, so, and... You know, a lot of times people say intimacy and they mm-hmm. immediately think sex, but right. intimacy isn't necessarily sex. Yeah, no, I know. No. You know, it's like... Mm-hmm. It's it makes sex better, though. Yeah, and actually it made me think of this question. What, if you had to give up one for the rest of your life, intimacy or sex, which one would you give up? Sex. Whoa. Uh, mm-hmm. A shocking Hey Girl exclusive. Yeah. What about you, Slam? What are you giving up, sex or Intimacy. Well, what do you mean by giving up? Like, I'm like, just not the, going to engage in them anymore? Or I, or I lose the ability? I think this is a pretty self-explanatory uh, question. Like, you just wouldn't get to experience one or the other. I or, wouldn't get to experience it. Yeah. By choice or by... Just Dude, answer, just the, answer question. the fucking question. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to answer Don't every question it. with a question. It. Yeah. Probably sex. Yeah. yeah. I well, probably would, too. I, I would, hands down, sex. Hands yeah. down, sex. Yeah. Definitely. I, my my the reason I asked the the I other question is once. because if it's not like biological, then there's only so much I can do. It's not biological. Like that whole vow of abstinence thing. Absolutely not. I could never pull that off if I wanted to. Like. Oh, that's oh. true. Then you have to think about. Then you could never have kids if you ever decided that you wanted to without sex. No, I could still have kids. That's dual layer. Just put my finger on their finger. And focus really hard. You can get women pregnant that way. I read it in a book. Did ET get Elliot well, pregnant? It's, he it's, did. It's no sex, and I don't consider masturbation sex. So you could, you know, have kids. You could artificially inseminate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. Well. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's totally. Ch- well, that totally changes my answer. Mm-hmm. And Somehow. you know, so along with that, like, hey, girl, mm-hmm. maybe I guess it's kind of for everybody, but like, what are some non-sexual things that are some some non-sexual intimate things that people do or that you do uh holding hands oh uh-huh. i like holding hands really yeah we can hold hands. hands right now oh, okay do you want to yeah, hold hands can. sometimes all all right. hands. oh yeah we could w- come on Sam. oh hold i actually hands. are holding hands <laughs> he's gotta wipe <laughs> he's it off sweaty <laughs> palms. he was just masturbating <laughs> yeah those are pretty sweaty <laughs> yeah he was just satisfying <laughs> the just, sex part of i'm just sitting here clutching a lighter like because i'm all fidgety <laughs> I, th- I like touching I mean like wherever you are just like reaching out and touching mm-hmm. someone whether it's like on the back of the neck or you can rub yeah. my neck it's fine <laughs> that's so interesting well, some people hate I'll that pay you one thing back. that I do that's not really necessarily sexual but very intimate is I actually waggle my um Wag. my arm my arm flab <laughs> over really? a girl's sure. nose we were talking about this last yeah, segment okay and uh I I tickle them. I tickle their nose with the the bottoms of my biceps because mm. they're, they're really flabby. Oh, let's hear it. Try that. Let's hear it. Oh, 
It's like uh, this. I want to hear him. That's oh, good. That's <laughs> good. Wow, that it's, is hot. Yeah, so it's wait, intimate. It is. Oh, intimate. okay, it's intimate. It's hey, girl, sexual. sliding off the chair over here. <laughs> but another one too is just like rubbing noses. Mm. That's a real intimate thing, but not sexual necessarily. That would make me laugh. I like mm-hmm. that. What about like spooning? Hey, girl, can I? Can we rub spooning. noses sometime? Sure. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. So intimate of you guys. Yeah. Like nose to nose, or are you just gonna like rub her nose like she's a good dog? No, nose to nose. Oh, okay. It's intimate. You know what the other problem is? Is we keep saying we're gonna do all these like different activities, or we want to do these different activities together, but we never do them. We do the same thing over and over, and that's go to the bar and get beers and go home and have sex. Oh, really? We do not do that, but <laughs> if you want to, <laughs> which is fine. I have no problems with any of those things. But it just feels like at you know a certain point it gets to be a little redundant, and I would but like to you know get into kick it up a notch and. Well, I mean, do you yeah. ever do you ever like take that upon yourself? Like I've tried, but the problem is, is because he's always pushing things back or coming over later than mm-hmm. planned. There's nothing left to do but go to the bar and grab some beers. Hmm. I suppose yeah. it was a little late in the day to say go to like an intimate mountain range or something. But we keep making all these grand plans like that we want to do. And mm-hmm. we keep saying, and he actually brought it up to me last time that he says we're ready to start hanging out with each other's friends. But it hasn't happened. And well, he's choosing. Where is he right now? Hanging out with his friends. Well, tell him to come on over. Yeah, yeah get but him on the show. But he chooses to hang out with them and not me, which is fine. I'm not going to complain about that. But. Well, how come you aren't hanging out with him and his friends right now? Well, I mean. Besides the obvious. Right. Because plans. I'm too afraid to ask. Oh. Uh, because hmm. it doesn't seem like he wants it. Scary. Yeah, I don't know how to go about that. I mean, I feel like that just is kind of a thing that normally just naturally happens. Right. You know? Uh, yeah, it just feels like, yeah. Maybe yeah. you could just give it a little bit. More. Yeah, yeah, I could. I think the biggest fear I have bringing anything up is he's young. So he's 25. Mm-hmm. Which I mean, it's not that young, but yeah. he's, he's just a baby. He's he's having fun. He's hanging with his friends. He just moved back to the city. Like I don't want him to feel like I'm trying to lock him into this super serious relationship, which is not what I'm doing. But I do just want, like you said, more intimacy. I think you need another guy to date. I think you need to date two dudes. Yeah, I think you're just insatiable. Well, Take I them tried both out asking at once. one, but he never got back to me. That's okay. I mean, you know, I like, haven't found anybody else. Sorry, I lost my phone. <laughs> God damn I guess it, I, Joe. Yeah, I just think it'd be. I think it'd be good eventually. If yeah. You have two dudes to date, because that way, you know, like, I don't know. When this guy is all like flaky and stuff, call the other one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and since you're not whatever, you're not some sort of couple or anything. Yeah. Then yeah, you, need, you get another fish on the line. Yeah. What you need. Mm-hmm. I think that's fair. Yeah, totally. Cool. Then that's what I'll do. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Uh, this has been Dating Advice by <laughs> the Radio Nomad. Uh, the Radio Nomad. Featuring Hey Girl. Um, you're sticking around, right? Yeah. You're here the whole show? Or do you yes. have plans now that we convince you to go hang out with your uh, no. boyfriend's friends? No, he's going to have to wait. All right. Or he can come over. Or he can email us. At the radio nomad at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah. Check us out on all our social media websites. You know, he's, you know, you could also tell him to listen to the show and he'd learn a few things about you. Uh, yeah, I thought yeah, about yeah. it. Uh, I was like, I thought about just sending him the link and say, listen <laughs> and see yeah. what he says. What's his name? Anderson? Anderson. No. Anderson. Anderson. This was a good segment for you to Thunder listen him? to. Remind him to listen to it again. Um, yeah. Okay. Welcome back to the show. 
still here. We've been talking a little bit about going on vacations. And we're going to talk about vacations. But before that, we're going to have Hey Girl make a fool of herself. Mm-hmm. Woo! So uh, this is my favorite part of the day. Kind of segment. Apparently I don't do it enough. Well, it's about time someone else besides the three of us does it. So okay. we get to do it. So um, we're going to have you make a f- just a few sound effects. Uh, it's honestly, I don't think it'll be. You'll probably be pretty good at it. All right, we'll pretty, see. Usually yeah. pretty and good actually, sound. the more you do it, the better you get at mm-hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. By the end Just of this segment, I, I, I bet you'll be real. You'll You're be gonna be the better. next Mel Blank. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next, uh, ro- uh, Police Academy guy, Michael. What's his name? Michael, Michael from Police Academy. Jones <laughs> Smith. Michael Winslow. That sounds right. That, okay. That yeah. is an actor. I, yeah. I don't know if that's. His okay, name. so first, I think we should go with Chef's Choice. Carl Winslow. So you can just go make any sound effect you want. Get warmed up. Loosen up the bowels or. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, how about a police? That was a clueless girl. Okay. Yeah. Like, woo, 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 woo. Go. That's, oh, that's good. a good one. Yeah. Okay. You guys have anything you would like uh, to hear? What about like a boat? Mm. Yeah. What about um, laughing? Is that really <laughs> okay? There, that's, there right. that's, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> so you just get better and better. Oh, I go. got one. Ba- um, baby noises. I don't think like that was a real. Try it again. Try that again. How <laughs> about oh, just um? Wow! <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. better. Yeah, see, so you're like getting that. better. At Babies this. be crying. Yeah. How about um, someone peeing underwater? I don't yeah, know if that would really have any sound, though. Yeah, I don't know. No, it would uh, probably be pretty silent. It would if you were a fish. Unless it had airy pee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like. Hey, what about um, a piece of paper ripping? <laughs> what about like a spaceship? <laughs> Oh, oh. That was not. That was a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, that was a good spaceship. That one. was nice. Right, oh, am I supposed to do it now? Uh, like, whoa! Like good take job. off. Sorry, do it again. Wow, that's the only way I would know because I've never heard really good. an actual spaceship. You've never heard a spaceship? No. Oh man, you should watch more sci-fi movies. <laughs> what about a dog panting? That's good. Yeah. How about a dog getting his head rolled up in a window? <laughs> I don't know. I would assume <laughs> that's about right. That's what I had in mind. What about like a falcon? I <laughs> know. <laughs> not baby noise. <laughs> I was trying to do like a screeching bird noise. I can't do it. Oh, okay. Let's try again. Squawk. <laughs> <laughs> just say the word. Did they really say squawk? <laughs> I, I think that was a bird getting caught by a baseball bat. <laughs> oh, I had to say the word. It was the only way I could think of how to do it. What oh. about a sheep? Bah. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Wow, are you crying? <laughs> oh my! I didn't know people really did that. What about what about the sound crying, of crying? I mean, what about the sound? This one's kind of tough, but what about the sound of painting? Hmm. That's good. Yes. <laughs> like with a roll brush or, or with a roller or a brush? With a brush. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm still wiping away my tears. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, she like, really is. <laughs> it's, it's a sad day. <laughs> it's like, like, psh, 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 psh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. I liked hmm better. <laughs> The sound the painter makes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, maybe a, right. maybe a happier tree. A How tree about <laughs> you being awed by something? Awed by something? Yeah. Like, ooh. Like yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> if that's the sound you make. <laughs> yeah. Or, ah. Yeah, yeah even better. Can we All get right, that about, one more time? What about masturbating? <laughs> <laughs> I would just be laughing. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good that's job. about right. <laughs> good one. What about um, weightlifting? Oh, like, 
<laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I do at the gym. Yeah. Or um, oh, what about um, fajitas? Yeah. What about a, what about a snake? <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> what about like a a ball that has a hole popped in it? Oh, like the squeaky. Hmm. Oh, I've got I one. Know, I've got one. Like what about a, a, a balloon? Leak. Like you blow up a balloon and then you let it go. Oh. What does that sound like? Oh, like <laughs> something like that. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Mm. How about a balloon, but when you like just kind of slowly let the air out and you oh, make it squeal? Yeah, like. Okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> that could also be a dying that was too pig. Good. Yeah, that was what about good. like an elephant? Hmm. Um, no, I cannot do an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, a, what elephant. about a, a silent fart? <sighs> Just an air air one. <laughs> really? <laughs> Just the air. What about a quiff? <laughs> Um, no, I'm more just interested in how this <laughs> what? That's how it sounds. <laughs> uh, then she quaffed right on my head. Uh, uh, fast. That is not. How about a sound of a canoe being dragged across sand? <laughs> God damn it. God. Um, I have no idea. What about gagging? Come on. Oh yeah. Um. what about a roaring fire um i don't know i can try to do the crack that's just a crackling fire i'm (laughs) talking more like a house burning down i don't know what does that sound like like? That's when it gets to the septic tank. <laughs> <laughs> and then the kaboom. <laughs> okay, do you guys have any other ones? How about somebody chugging a, a glass of water? <laughs> nice. What about, like, radar? Uh, beep. Uh, beep. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I didn't know what, I couldn't think of what that sounded like. What about um, computer noises? Like. Like that's the sound of a processor. <laughs> <laughs> that's, really good. that's the sound it's of a uh, hard drive working. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, a 56k modem? Dial up when you need dial up when you need AOL. Oh. Um. First, there's the numbers. Yeah. Oh. Do 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 do. Mm-hmm. Something like that. <laughs> 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 That's pretty <laughs> Very interesting That's good. That's good Same as baby noises <laughs> What about like a horse galloping down a road um, um, Remember you can use your Your can, whole body I can use my whole Okay yeah. So <laughs> What like about a, tr- <laughs> oh, a horse with like a peg leg <laughs> What what about just like the sound of intimacy? <laughs> um, the sound of intimacy would be, hmm. That sounds like the sound of complacency. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a satisfied hmm. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Let's all get intimate with each other. A beard lost it there, Dan. <laughs> Now I've got uh. vomit in my chest hair. <laughs> you need, what's uh, vomiting? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. What that's about good. dad? Uh, dad yelling at you? Oh man! Not now, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it sounded like when dad yelled at me. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Okay, that was All awesome. Right, yeah, that was, yeah fun. that was good. That was good. We should do that again sometime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we're going to talk about vacations. So first, we're going to have Slam make a bunch of sound effects for <laughs> us. 
<laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> no, we'll actually just talk about it. Pew, pew. Because that is the theme of the show, and I think that, you know, this is, people have been looking forward to this since we brought it up in the first segment, so, um, whew, man, I gotta get the giggles out. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm almost just still laughing. That was a, that was a lot of fun. Are you having that a giggle fun. fit uh, over there? I felt like I just, like, went on vacation in this room. It was awesome. It did get 10 degrees hotter. Yeah, what the heck? It is boiling in here. I feel like I'm in Haiti. San Francisco. Hmm. I love San Francisco. Actually, it's not even that hot in San Francisco. No, I was just not. on vacation in San Francisco hmm. uh, a couple months ago, and it was like 63 and overcast pretty much every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that like sounds it's about just right. okay. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. rain, but it's not sunny. What are some uh, What are some good vacation spots if I'm looking to get baked in the S- sun, S- not the drugs? Sedona, Arizona. For both, actually. (laughs) Costa Rica. Sedona? Yeah. That's good. Great hiking. Lots of sun. But aren't there, like, scorpions? Um, yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. My vacation needs to be somewhere where there's no crazy bugs. Um. Costa Rica. No, they have crazy ass bugs. Oh, you know what? You should go. You should go to Indonesia. I don't believe you. No, you know why? Why? Because, uh, you know how, like... Here, if you go to like New York, there's cockroaches. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. But uh, you go out there, man. Every all the houses are just like they've got geckos on the wall that eat all the bugs. So, oh, like, sweet! You got no trouble. It's geckos great. Geckos are pretty cool. I'm I know. Okay I don't. I, I'm okay with like a couple of geckos scurrying away when I turn on the lights in my kitchen. Like, oh well. Oh, hey, girl! You can tell us about your Bra- Brazil vacation. Oh yeah, that was a uh, sweet vacation. Remember when you were gonna go to Brazil, but then your friend canceled on you, and then you can't, couldn't go to Brazil. Yeah, I do remember. It sucked. I should have just gone. Yeah. I knew I was going to feel that way, but I was scared. I would have gone, mm-hmm. but you would have probably lost more money because you had to buy me a ticket. Yeah. You would have mm-hmm. to buy me one. That's true. Hey, but hey, girl, and Joe Baker Donuts are going. I like to talk about myself in third person. Mm-hmm. We're going on a little vacation. We are. Where? We're going to go on a little couples retreat. Just a couple of couples uh, to Breckenridge. We're going to go on a nice, just nice little ski snowboarding mm-hmm. trip. You know, maybe... Do you C- ski? Call up around the fire. I have snowboarded once. Oh, well, we're going with twenty-one other people or nineteen. Oh, I was gonna say the it's number changed from explosive. the last time I heard. Mm-hmm. It's, it's when are you people. going? Oh, it's just right around the corner in January. <laughs> so it's just, like nine months from now. I think it's more like seven. But it feels like it's right around the corner. Yeah. It's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a good vacation. It'll be a lot of fun. Very nice. Well, hey, if you had the choice, I mean, I know you don't because you've already committed to going on this vacation right. with uh, me. But if you had the choice, which nomad would you go on a vacation with? What does it mean? Um, no, I mean, it would probably be the beard. Um, Aww. Yeah. Where would you guys go? Wherever you can hug a lot. Yep. So anywhere. Tulum, Great. Mexico is yeah. a very intimate vacation. Yeah. Site. Tons of hugs. Mm-hmm. Oh, we would hug each other. Just tons of like. We'd sit on the beach and yeah. sun ourselves. We'd probably hug the dung, and then, hug and the dung out we'd of go, each other. We'd get some, we'd get some nice food at, at mm-hmm. some of the awesome restaurants they have there, and then we'd to cap the night off, we'd give each other a hug. Yep. Hugs. Just hugs all day. All a bunch of hugs. Yeah. Well, that sounds that's nice. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Are you you know, sure it can't come? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're positive. Uh, what? I, I'd like to throw my hat in the ring. I throw. I give great hugs. Yeah, Sam I've would. Sam would be good. He can yeah. come. Yeah, Sam can come. Yeah, but you gotta bring somebody else too. Yeah, because oh. you need a hugging. Partner. How about you bringing like Jenny from the block? Yeah, I could bring yeah. Jenny from the block. Yeah. Okay. She, wait, but what if you're going just as a single? Okay, let's say there's no Jenny from the block, and it's just Slam. And what if you went on a vacation with a couple? Would that? Would you be okay with that? Any couple, like a, a couple that's together. Yeah. Oh, like a, a dating, like a couple, a thing. Describe the couple. Hot dude, hot chick. Okay. He's analyzing then, yeah. again. Okay. Yeah, I think as long I, as it's a hot dude and a hot chick, like if it's like a hot true. chick and that's like just, just a dude. Yeah. You yeah. know, I don't think I would go on a vacation with a couple. No, I, think I, I would, wouldn't either. That'd be I, terrible. I, I, I would need. Yeah. yeah, I would need some. Well, you um, already wouldn't. Remember, we were gonna go to Hawaii with me and old Matt, but you wouldn't go with us. You and old Matt are a couple? <laughs> a couple of hot dudes. I guess. hi <laughs> But So wh- why would you not do that? What's uh, your biggest reason? I don't know. I just, I feel like, okay, so I feel like when you hang out with a couple, 
they are they always have to do they don't do things because the other one doesn't want to you know like if one of them wants to do something but the other one doesn't then they end up not doing things and right. so they end up not doing a lot of things that you want that I would want to do because one of them one of the two doesn't want to do it rather than just having the one who wants to do it you know go along and do it does that make sense yeah but so if you're on a trip with let's say eight people and five of them you think of an activity and five of them want to do it and three don't would the five really go and just leave the three yeah even if none of them were couples yeah oh of course I didn't know that. I thought you'd just try and then regroup and compromise and find something that all eight wanted to do. No, no because there's always going to be a few that just want to do nothing and like well, they shouldn't or be do their homework or something. Yeah, you know? I don't know they're the worst homework. Um. Okay. Here's a question. Um. Which relative of your own? You don't have to say their name, but just how they're related to you. Would you least want to go on a vacation with? Oh, my grandpa. Okay. Oh, least? Yeah. Okay. My aunt pet my aunt. Okay. Probably my my either of my brothers. Yeah, I'd probably say mm, my little brother. Yeah, he kind of sucks. I would say your little brother too. Um, okay, let me ask you this you alternate question. Which relative would you most want to go on a vacation with to a nude beach? Oh god. <laughs> That is terrible. How Nobody. Far? Hold on. Any any of my aunts? Is it, is it just, is it just blood relatives? Yeah. Wait, wait, least, right? They have to be... No, most. Oh, most. Uh, that changes things <laughs> drastically. <laughs> it's oh, got to be a blood man. relative. It can't think, be married into the family. Oh, damn it. I think probably my grandpa, just because it would be really fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I would choose... Oh, boy. Oh, actually. Yeah. My uncle Bill, big old, big dude. Yeah, just like three or four hundred pounds. I would probably say my uncle Jim. Um, yeah, hey, yeah. He's a, uh, you know, he's just kind of an odd dude, but I love him and. Uncle, is this Uncle Jay? His name is Uncle Jim. Oh, a different person. And um, you know, he'd probably um, wander off, and so then I could, you know, do my own thing or whatever. What do you do at a nude beach? You yeah. just do all the same things that you do at a non-nude beach, only you don't have to wear any pants. I have a question yeah, too. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Do you have to put sunscreen on your pee-pee then? Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> on my pee-pee. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> oh my God. How old are we? <laughs> are we really talking about this? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you put you sunscreen everywhere. To. But, but it, why it doesn't, wouldn't you? But it's because it's a sensitive area. So yeah, it's sunscreen yeah. okay to put oh, yeah. on your oh. penis. It's more than okay. If you yeah. don't, it, you will not be having yeah, a Yeah, you do not want sunburn. I didn't know, I didn't know if it was too strong unless it would it's, burn your penis. Unless it's small, dark, and ugly like this guy <laughs> I know because then it wouldn't matter. Some guys, when there's nothing else around, they whip out the sunscreen, if you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The balls, though, you do not want su- sunburn on your testicles. Some sound effects. Or testicle. You. That was Hey Girl. Terrible. <laughs> Thanks, Slam, for keeping that all encompassing. Appreciate <laughs> you. Thanks for sticking around. We are back with another high flying segment, high fiving segment. Uh, clarification there. It doesn't have a lot to do with high fives. Mm. Really? Thanks, hey girl. I love high fives. Yeah, that was, felt good. That was an energetic high five. I feel empowered due to that high five. I high fived myself there. That's actually just clapping. It's still, you know, it still makes you feel good. That's true. Oh, that's true. Um, hey, wait. Welcome uh, to the show. Oh, is that your. I was just going to ask Hey Girl sometimes she wants to high 10. Yeah. Sweet. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, okay. Sure, keep going, man. Joe. Oh, can I say what I was going to Okay. 
Um, I just, well, not to take away from your high 10, mm-hmm. but uh, Aunt Grandpa's here. Oh, hey. Hey, oh. Hey. Returning guest. You haven't been around for a while. What I didn't the... say it was poop. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Grandpa. I remember when you said that. That was you who said that. I don't, that doesn't sound anything like me. I didn't say it was poop. <laughs> That's a, clearly a five year old girl. Yeah, so it sounds like you. Yeah. No. <laughs> In order to destroy all the ants. In order to stop the ants, you must first destroy the ant grandpa. <laughs> I, I Yes. I made yes. um a giant snack of ants on a log a few days ago. Mm. Like seven logs filled with so many ants and I definitely felt like the ant grandpa. <laughs> So you enjoyed your logs? I did. So you ate seven logs? Yeah. You just you didn't right dr- in a row. I took a little break and then I went back. You didn't more. drop any of them though, did you? No. You dropped no logs? No. Okay. I wanted to double check. Were any of them from, from of Lincoln, the Nebraska? No. Okay. No Lincoln logs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Lincoln logs, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. It's yeah. kind of a game no. you play when you're a kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Knocking them over. Yeah. You'd, build, you'd spend like... Yeah. Six days building a log cabin, and then you just stomp all over them. Mm-hmm. Or your little your little brother does. <laughs> God, so annoying. There's a lot of little brother comments here tonight. It's National Little Bro- Okay, it's National Little Brothers Day. So Aww. somewhere, yeah, in in this studio. But um, we got to thinking, uh, us nomads, that um, think uh, we could probably come up with some pretty sweet nomad games, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. You know, any kind of games, like, I don't know, what's, well, like, a board game. Beard, oh. you seem like you have an idea for what a Nomad board game would entail. Um, maybe. I was thinking about a game, not really a board game, mm. but it's called, um, Whose Breasts Are These? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I have yeah, really how, so how do you, pl- how do you So, basically, everybody, um gets blindfolded okay <laughs> <laughs> and uh then you um you basically take turns pushing your chest up against everyone else's hands sure and you gotta try and guess whose breasts are these you know mm, interesting i feel like maybe it should be modified so there's like cutouts in a screen or something because if there's mm-hmm. chest hair that's a hint and that mm. way you can only feel the breasts. Well, you'd have to shave. Everyone, we'd have to shave our chests. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that's just, it's just this, so is this razor included in yeah. the game? Yeah, it's included in the, okay. it's, it's a, and actually that's the board game part of it is that you keep track. If you get it right, you get to move your piece along. But, and your piece is a razor blade? Well, yeah, because then it doubles as it's a razor sure. blade. Okay. And like one guy's the shaving cream bottle and one's the razor Shaving cream not included. It's just a, <laughs> oh. just a different colored razors. <laughs> okay, so you just got to scrape it off dry, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. So well, hopefully you have shaving cream in your recommended house. Recommended for very ages soap, right? 18 to 80. Yeah. What's the minimum number of players for that game to be worth playing? Well, oh, two. Yeah. <laughs> two. Probably best if uh, one's female. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's really boring if you're just playing by yourself because you know every time. That's called cheating, I think. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's oh, crazy. Know. Your game's really similar to the game that I thought of. Um, <laughs> who's not do- crazy. Whose is dong crazy. is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I see. It's similar where everyone just kind of brings a sample of their own dung and then either by smell or I guess that this is p- kind of one of the variables is you get to decide. Do you get to touch it? Yep. You, well, <laughs> if you, if that's the rule, are there different rounds? Maybe it could be, you start with sure. smell. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> and then you move to the site. This is why brainstorming is so important. Yes. And then touch. So you have yeah, to um, bring a large enough sample. <laughs> yeah. I think that there's, there's gotta be a moderator who could maybe cut down <laughs> the sample sizes if they're too, if they're too large. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, they're, a large sample could really, um, it could really say too much about the sample itself. Sure, and if it if the sample's too small, then you kind of get stuck with just playing one round. Of so whose dung is it? Again, probably the game should come with a razor to oh. shave down <laughs> the sample <laughs> so size. I, guess, like I think it, you should also have a to one. have a picture of the form it comes out in. Because that's important. Well, I was going to say, like, maybe the size of the original sample yep. could be one of the final clues. But then you have to really know who you're playing with. 
Like, well, that's part, it's kind of like apples to apples. You just got to know your audience. True. Oh, I, I think that there should be a little bit of a caveat. No corn ahead of time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or just, anything yeah. red. Don't drink any mm-hmm. red drinks mm-hmm. or have yeah. salsa. And you might want to just play with no, a group of people fun. that have similar diets. Yeah. Maybe that could be a like bonus round is everybody eat the same thing for a day and then you get back together. Yeah. True. Sure, that's yeah. extra challenge. It's a you? multi... It's, I, a, it's like a week long game, you know, really. Yeah. No beats either. If you're yeah. playing with yeah. Hey Girl, it only has to be like a day long <laughs> game. But <laughs> doesn't even need a day. <laughs> I uh, I thought of another game. It's called Where's My Finger. <laughs> <laughs> These games are. Is it, very wait, is there a based. blindfold involved in this game as well? Yeah, but no razor. You don't need a razor for this one. Thank God. Yeah, and um, basically, well, Hey Girl, we could play it later. Okay, but okay. I got a blindfold. Um, it's pretty simple game uh kind of goes along with the title of it and um um basically uh we all decide on where to put we all put the finger somewhere and you gotta guess where it is or is it whose finger is where mm. oh that's oh. another that's a different yeah. game oh. <laughs> i think we all like that game. yeah yeah whose finger is where where everyone shoves a finger somewhere and you gotta try mm. and figure out whose Who is, is where then blindfolds again right well yeah of course. Well, yeah yeah, yeah. And then you just you walk in a circle, and when the timer goes off, everybody <laughs> <laughs> finds an orifice and gets their finger in it. <laughs> hey, got- hey, girl, what does that sound like? <laughs> um, I don't know. What does it sound like when the timer buzzes on? Where's oh. where's whose who's fingers? <laughs> <where>? <laughs> I got a good game. I didn't mean yeah. the timer. This is a good intimate game. All right. Oh. And so not um, sexual, just intimate. <laughs> well. Okay, both. It's Sexually called intimate. Where's the Soap? Mm. And it involves <laughs> drying a bath. Um, essential oils preferred. Bubbles definitely preferred. Oh, like an actual, like, okay, yeah. So everyone yep. just cleans themselves. <laughs> nope. One uh, person's is in the bathtub, and the other one is washing the person's back and then drops the soap. <laughs> Okay. I'm go, liking this game go, so far. <laughs> I like the washing part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't finish it. And then the then when they drop the soap, they have to search around the bathroom. What if they don't so. drop the soap? <laughs> game over. Well, yeah. Then they lose. <laughs> oh, okay. So you okay, have to drop the soap. So there's just a bath. <laughs> and then you just, at one point, the soap falls out of your hand. <laughs> what if you just know where it went and you just grab it? Yeah, how are you going to market and make that money out of this? Soap? Ooh. Well, you don't get the floaty soap. <laughs> yeah, true. What yeah. if it that's is floaty That's cheating. Soap? Okay. Or what if the water is just clear? Well, that's why I said bubbles are a must. And then bonus round, get those mini seashell shaped soaps and you drop like six of them. Oh, sure. Whoa, yeah. that's You're really like, into yeah. the bonus rounds. I am. Because I know I'm going to get past the first round so okay. you gotta get something you harder. gotta make up for it with the bonus yeah you gotta challenge sure. yourself yeah and then the other person could try to guide you to help find the soap or they could trick you and move it around mm. and oh. Oh. Oh, so only one person is looking for the soap yes so wait is it the well, same person who drops the soap looks for it yeah didn't they know where they dropped it? <laughs> and what's the purpose of the other maybe, person? Oh. Maybe the person in the bath is churning violently while that. Do you drops, really not so know what the purpose of the other person Hopefully in the bath is? Hopefully, they're Just to get a <laughs> <Yes>. free bath. <laughs> oh, you have so much to learn. You're so young. I don't get it. About baths? You're just getting bathed. <laughs> And the other person drops soap and has to try and find. Well, it. Uh, put it this way: it could turn into Jeff's game. Then, where's my finger? Mm. Oh. Jeff Goldblum, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you Jeff guys Goldblum. noticed? Yeah, I heard all about of, that on the internet. All of the games are question <laughs> games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All my it's all questions. a problem to be okay, solved. Okay, I got one. I got one that's not a question oh, game. Oh, go for it. All right, this is the nervous game, but with a little twist. It's beard version. Oh. So you know the nervous game where you like you grab someone's knee and then you slowly move your hand up and then when they start to get uncomfortable then that that's it. I think oh yeah, pork or chicken. Well, so this game, I'm not sure what that means, but this game <laughs> never heard that one before. Thing. But all right, it's the same thing. Only you instead of using your hand, you use your beard. Oh, mm. tickle, 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 mm. tickle, tickle. Yeah. So it's just a nice quick game. You to start play on. The park you start whatever. with your beard on their knee, uh-huh. and then you slowly you scratch them. It's great to scratch up their leg. But well, get there. what if I want to play and I don't currently have a beard? 
Um, and you need to put your knee on someone's beard? Mm. Then you're the yeah, knee. You're the knee. Yeah, that's it's, a, that's a you don't got a beard. role in life, though. But okay. I mean, you could get a beard. I'll try it. Yeah. 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 You can purchase a Here, fake beard. And just that's like true. Put it on yeah, and start I can, we'll play I can later. collect the... <laughs> okay, I'll collect the hairs that are shaved off from the boob game. Exactly. And there glue them on my face. Done. There you go. I have another game. That's ingenuity right there. Yeah. This game is called Best Laugh. Now, this game is, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically what it is is that everybody does a laugh, and then you see which one's the best. Mm. Do you want to mm-hmm. play right now? Let's try it. Yeah. Does everyone do it at once, or is it No, individual? it's it's oh. an individual. Okay. I don't. Joe, you start. Oh, man. Pressure. <laughs> Just don't yell. <laughs> if it's too loud, then you're disqualified. You're almost disqualified. Yeah, I like to walk a fine line between disqualified and not. <laughs> okay, hey girl. Are we supposed to laugh? Yeah. Ha 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 That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was, that was, pretty good. That was better than mine. <laughs> Slam. Oh, that's a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. You usually start your laugh by saying, "Oh, that's a lot of." <laughs> Every time you laugh, you just start talking. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, now you know my that's secret. Good. <laughs> that's my secret. I'm always awkward. Yep. Awkward. All right, Ag. Did you call her itchy? <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's what? a closed mouth laugh for church. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's on me, right? It's on you, beard. Um, Bring us home. So I'll give you a little hint. Oh, if you start by letting out a little breath, it really helps your laugh. So you go... <laughs> <laughs> well, that was really good. I don't oh, know if that helped. Going? It sounded like uh, you had an attack. Oh, yeah, that? are you? Do we need a doctor? Joe, become a oh, doctor. No, real so, do you start oh, all yeah, your you laughs? You have uh, tumor syphilis. But now you Ooh. can, if you want, you can challenge. Oh. Yeah, this is a bonus round. You can challenge. How is it the damn bonus rounds? <laughs> yeah. Double jeopardy. Mm-hmm. What What do you mean? Cha- what do I challenge? The you can say I challenge you, and then you gotta oh, do a better oh, laugh. Than, okay. I thought like somebody does a laugh in there, like. But you have to laugh while you say I challenge you. I Fuck! Know. There's a mosquito. In here. <laughs> you challenge. <laughs> Came out like a pirate. I guess. I was thinking a wizard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I challenge you. <laughs> Beard. Um. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, that one works. Hide behind your buttons. Who would have thought? Classic beard. Um. Also, uh, there's this other game called One Two Three Word. I made up. Mm. And on you say one two three, and then you all say a word, and whoever says the best word wins. Mm. Okay. Okay, so um, oh, what I want I you to do it. is maybe just like think a little bit about what, what your word might be that would be really, really good. Like a word it. that you think is good, more good than everybody else's good word. All right. And then on the okay. count of three, we I've say, got it. So it's one, two, three, word. Uh, and I, oh, I so it's see. one, two, three, and then you say the word. Ready? Okay. okay. One, two, three, down. Yeah. 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 I have no idea what anybody <laughs> said. I didn't catch any of that. I didn't hear anything. I think said. somebody just said gibberish. <laughs> yeah, somebody. <laughs> Beard. Dang it. Um. Hmm. Well, that game really buttons. sucks. Yeah. That yeah. Was that terrible. game didn't work out like I thought what it would. What if you challenged people to that game? Hey. Uh, it'd be like, I ch- let's do a challenge, like a uh, individual, me and Sam, and everybody else can judge. Okay. Okay. Try and figure out what um, one of them is saying. It's important. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, you, yeah. You ready? One, two, three, drop. Glandular. What did, did you say, say? Drop? Yeah. Oh. Slam wins. Slam, yeah. Well, what? Just because it's longer? <laughs> it yes. It's more interesting. Uh, drop. Well, see, so I'm still, I'm thinking about this, and drop, like, it can mean so many different things. 
Also, like, gla- drop it like it's hot. Also, glandular is something I said once, so it couldn't have been very good. I think that maybe I would give this point to the beard. He's that judge how he's throwing out fives. Yeah, he's the Russian judge. Out of mm-hmm. fives. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's try it again. I gave that yeah. joke I 10 think it's definitely out of 30. A strike against one of the players if people have to ask what the player said. That's kind of yeah. where I went immediately yeah. to slam. Cause you didn't hear what I said? It no. was not understandable. Well, then you got to go for I the said, longer word. It okay, could have been plop fine. or crap. I heard what he said. Okay. I was just so impressed. I was okay. like, did you say drop? Wow. Okay, let's do it again. You changed the okay. game. Slam. Incredible. He's getting feisty. Um, slam, I challenge you. Okay. New uh, word. All right. One, okay, challenge against Sam. Ready? Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready, we'll go. We're good. We're okay. Good. One, two, three. Carpe Diplodocus. <laughs> See, now Beard Ooh, wins that one. This is one. tough. Mm. Is that a real Let's word? Say, well, Beard's was longer, so uh, there's that. <laughs> he uh, had more did oomph Beards, when he said it. Was yeah. it his pronounced correctly? I didn't know either know word how. that was said. Mm. There's that. So the bonus points are both. Who? Just say it. Who won? You all know who won. <laughs> oh, I think you said yours louder. No, you all know who won. He said it's slower. The beard. I don't know if that's cheating or not. The beard. I w- it was I'm never clearly discussed. No. I, took a, I took a chance. I only had three syllables. We should play physical Slam games. Z. Fuck you. The beard. <laughs> I am your father. <laughs> You're not my dad. I think beard probably won that segment. <laughs> so it was, it was all a game. I'll get it you was all a dream. Time. And if we don't say the beard wins, then we don't get our paychecks. So we're just going to have to go ahead and lie and say it was him. You win, beard. Uh, that's all he does. He just hands out the checks. Straight cash, homie. It'll go away. I think. Sticking around, still the same old crew. Still looking Th- good. Same one, thank you. Specifically, Sam, as he dances in his chair. Mm, very dance. very I- intimately, not sexually. Clear distinction. Very clearly. A distinction there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the whole sentence. Good job. Thank uh, you. Here we are again, good job. as always, in our infamous Radio Nomad Nightcap. Um. This time, in this segment, we like to get very hypothetical and theoretical, and um, just pretty much go where uh, where no one has gone before. And we by that, I mean we're gonna just like Beard's gonna tell a bunch of jokes. <laughs> would you go so no, far I'd as to say that we would go nomad in this segment? Yeah, we're gonna just, just gonna go a little nomad here. Okay. So I actually okay, I got a couple of jokes. Um, all right, ready? Wait, just to preface your jokes, uh, Beard's been. I'm He's been trying to start up jokes. his uh, stand-up stand-up routine here for the past uh, six, seven years, um, and he's just got a few jokes here that he's finally, finally developed, and so he just wants to to promote them. Yeah, so I'm just see how they go. I'm working on these jokes, so let's see how they go. Okay, uh, I see you working on it with a calculator over there. Are they yeah, all going to so be boob related? It's a, it's a lot of math jokes. Okay, ready? Um, all right, ready? So, what's the best part about a baby shower? <laughs> what? How sexy it is. Why is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what's the best part about a wedding shower? I think I can guess. Everybody's clean? Cleaning the private parts. Oh. <laughs> 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 You're 
so good at this. What? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Interesting. And that was Beer's joke. Do you have more? <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> that was really it. Well, that's the only two I've got this oh, week. Okay. I mean, I have a ton more. Give him another couple of years. Just have not, I just not know any new ones. Oh, well, no. Have we heard Wait any of the old show. ones? Mm, in the past, in previous shows, yeah, for sure. Mm. 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 Okay. Okay. Huh. Huh. Hey, have you guys heard anything, any new Brand Saltar things lately? For those of you who maybe don't know, Brand Saltar is something that's very practical but looks incredibly stupid when you're using it, such as a selfie stick. Oh. Uh, what else do they have? Um, also, cargo pants. Very brand saltar. Oh, you know what I saw? I, uh, a rigid plastic shell for eggs. Oh. You know, like, so you could throw some eggs in your backpack mm-hmm. without worrying about them breaking. Hmm, but in the meantime, you're buying just like a plastic egg carton. I've seen that for a banana. Yeah, I've seen those as yeah. well. Oh, yeah, how what? about the? How could you ruin a banana? But that's not okay. Like you don't how really you see. Not okay. ruin a banana. You don't. Yeah. Re- that's not really brand saltar because you don't see anyone using yeah. it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Just doesn't it just look like an egg carton? Like I guess maybe you might see somebody using it. I, I mean, it makes I, sense if you really like eggs and you're going like backpacking into the woods. I just don't see a random person seeing that being like, "Whoa, brand saltar." Oh, I saw like this a thing. Lot of other things. I saw this thing. That's it's fair. a that's it's fair. a full body condom, so that no matter which. Uh, whatever you choose to put where, you're still covered. Is there like a oh. head, a hole for your head though? Yeah, how do you or breathe? Like, um, are people dying? No, it's got like a like some sort of um. What do you? What's the thing you mesh? Mean? A what, zipper that you go underwater with. Um, oh, scuba. It's got like an snorkel. Tank contained uh, snorkel. Snorkel. Yeah, it's snorkel? got like a snorkel. Oh. Like, snorkel. but it's like uh, it's, it's got a filter on it. Or I something, mean, how so could you good. not get turned on while you were wearing one of those? Yeah, I'm not even sure I'd need a second person if I had one of those. I think I would use one of those to, like, change my oil, maybe. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's Which sexy. is not a euphemism. <laughs> I just really mean to <laughs> yeah, you my would. car yeah. in the Jetta. Hmm. Oh, you mean like a hazmat suit. Uh, They've had those for a while, though, Beard. Well, that's, Is it clingy? Yeah, this one's a little bit more clingy. Oh, it. this is it's more tight. It, skin tight. Yeah, it's Has- hotter. They I mean, just, like, what's it sexier. called? Sexier. I feel mm. like... A lot of the clothes at American Apparel are brand saltar. Like the weird unitard. Oh, sure. Or yeah. like sort of bodysuit, well, but has no here. back. So mm-hmm. there's no support in the front for that. Yeah. Oh, and these are women's bra. clothing. Yeah. I was trying well, to picture myself in this and it I was not working at all. Anybody can wear it. I don't know that they market it just to women. Well, there is that. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought of something else that's totally brand saltar. Glasses. Yeah, you look like such a dumb idiot when you're using them, but they're so very functional. I agree. Yeah, totally. Brand Saltar, kind of idiot wears glasses. Uh, you feel like an idiot when you're wearing them. I'll tell you. That's what I think about beards too, like beards and mustaches. Yeah, totally. Like you're clearly hiding something yeah, gross the fuck if did you I have do? that. <laughs> or maybe you're trying to show off something sweet. <laughs> Unless you also have glasses on with your beard, because then then you look really stupid. But then, two no. negatives equal a positive. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, like Sam Banks sexy nerds. That. It's like the sexy nerd uh, phenomenon. Do you have an even number of negatives? I know you have a lot, but as long as they're even, oh, then that's it's a positive. very even number. Okay, good. Then you look good. I look real good on paper. Like if I lay on paper, I look mm. way better sure. than mm-hmm. normal. Mm-hmm. Remember when you used to lay on paper and draw an outline of your body? Yeah. yeah. I did that the other day on a, with chalk on a p- playground. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did that was you, fun. Oh. Like, were there a bunch of little kids around? I was at my job, so, yeah, uh, but it was a coworker that traced me. I didn't make a kid trace the outline well, is, of my it body. It doesn't sound any weirder now. <laughs> <laughs> She's gay, so it's fine. Oh. Hmm. Great. Yeah. It's like you just keep backtracking. Yeah. <laughs> I just live in a different world than you, maybe. Okay. Okay. No, I'm pretty sure it's just one. It's just Earth. Yeah. I mean, that, you know, there's probably others, but uh, that we're life. aware well, of. Well, life. There. Regardless, everybody came out of that situation happy and fine. So. Okay. Sure. I'm, yeah. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did they also go into the situation <laughs> happy and fine though? Because I feel like the situation did little. People don't really pay attention to me at my job, I'm so sorry. it's okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, the kids don't, because I'm a grown up. Yeah, hey. so you don't really exist in their world. Right, so are they there, don't care what I do. Guys, I are there any features one world. of 
Are there any features like if you're dating somebody of the opposite gender that immediately you would just be like, "Up, oh, this is over." Like for example, yes. if you're a yeah. guy with like big feet, would you just immediately just be like, "Oh no, can't do it." Like size 15. I don't really like to have to admit to these things mm-hmm. because I like to, you know, really I I like to think that I you know, I, I, uh, the a woman's mind is what's the most sure, important. You'd like to think that, but now go uh-huh. ahead. With yeah. your answer. Continue. No, but I, I do think that like really manly hands. Oh know. yeah. Man hands. Those are terrible. Yeah. Looks wait, like, wait, wait, but it, it might look like, like your buddies. What about guys yeah. with man hands? <laughs> no, I'm oh, just, that looks like if I were a guy, hand. I would hate a woman with man hands. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> One time I, so I conscious? hate women with man hands now. I uh. think it's just, so disturbing well, who and doesn't? distracting. I don't think I notice man hands. Oh, I do. I cannot picture a woman with man hands. Oh, you'll notice it now. Yeah. Okay. You're going to see it and be like, oh. <laughs> 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 I like I check a out girls. firm Oh, hand. that looks like my buddy's hand. <laughs> <laughs> One time I had a crush on a guy in college, and then we were hanging out at his room, and he took his shoes off, and he had, like, tiny little baby toes. And I was like, nope. Creepy, really? creepy toes. I was kind of, like subconsciously. I think I was looking for a reason to not have a crush sure. on him. But wait, what about for you, for for you girls? Um, what if a guy has like I don't know, really feminine hands? Yeah, I definitely noticed that too. It's not a deal breaker, but oh, oh I've definitely noticed. You've, what about so wait? You for don't me, like man fingernails. Hands if, and you don't like if a guy has long hands. fingernails, he needs to have a reason. No, like, like, he needs to play guitar yeah. or, or yes. do a lot of Build drugs. Clocks. Guys that have long nails, yeah. disgusting. Yes, I agree. Guys that do not take proper care of their feet, disgusting. So you like petite feet? <laughs> no, size doesn't matter. But what? Clean your toes. Clip not your whatever. toenails. Yeah, you should own a toenail clipper. Absolutely. Scrub the bottom of your feet. Well, that's a pain in the ass. That's hard. I I'm not I, I'm uh, not gonna require that. Well, it'll make me vomit. Man feet are disgusting. Uh, bad teeth. Mm, that is oh, hard. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Define bad teeth though. Sometimes they look white, but they got all sorts of cavities. Is that still okay? Yep. Okay. Purely aesthetic. Okay. Shallow <laughs> as it is deep. <laughs> I, I figured. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, what else is there? Oh, man boobs. Yeah, those are nice. <laughs> Hell sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I'm into those, those are fun. I know it's um, a new thing. I think now. a barbed wire tattoo on the arm makes oh, me yeah. makes me think oh. for a few seconds for sure. sure. Yeah. I yeah. will judge a girl on her tattoos. Yeah. Like if she got some real bad tattoos, it's like mm. Although show me a man with a Tweety Bird tattoo and I'm all over that. Yeah. Right, but yeah. getting back to man boobs though. Um <laughs> so they're good, right? That's what you were saying? I mean I prefer not to Only have but if, if I wouldn't hate on I guess I wouldn't break up with them for it, but and maybe try to get them into the gym. And what? Work on I their feel like it's more muscles. fair because I maybe want to play with boobs too, and so well, you I can do that at any time. Maybe I want to play with somebody else's boobs. Uh, well, all the we time. could probably do we that all anytime. We can't have. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, I would. If I guess, it, I don't. I don't think I have man boobs. No. But it would be nice to be able to like swing my boobs around <laughs> in conjunction with like another with a girl, like you know, as a sexy <laughs> sure, thing. Yeah. Not. I actually think it's actually like, like a real condition, though, man boobs. Like, yeah. it's called something. Some no. people can't avoid it. Yeah, right. It's like uh, it's something to do with like having more estrogen or something. Mammary. So it's not a deal breaker, Lands. but you know, yeah. as a man with boobs, it's terrible because yeah. like every time you're running, you can feel them flying around. They don't make mm-hmm. bros. That's I know. not a real it hurts thing. your back. Yeah, yeah. bros uh, hurts, hurts your chesticles. Have you checked the internet? They probably do. Sure yeah, that's fair. You could probably yeah. just get a regular bra. Yeah. I could just get like a trader training bra. Yeah, <laughs> get a sports bra. Tell everybody I'm wearing a wife beater when they see the outline. Yeah. So do you have like droopy nipples or what? Do you actually have man boobs? Oh, giant ones. Yeah. I can't see them. Yeah. That's for you. <laughs> uh, oh. No. It just looks like a flat chested uh, man. Well, you know, in my world, I mean, it doesn't look good. In my fantasy world, I've got boobs anytime I want them. All right. And they're on me. Mm. Sounds you, like I'm paying for something. And you get to pe- play with them. Yeah. I That's read somewhere all you need to do to get boobs anytime you want. Are you looking for a high five about that? Yeah. Want a question? I want to <laughs> high five you about playing with your boobs all the time. Well, that was. You, you gotta come five? to me. You gotta come to me. Just I, touch my hand with your hand. Okay, but I high five like this. So. Oh. oh <laughs> well, that was a really nice, fun, shallow game we played. Yeah, that was really shallow. Um, I enjoyed it. I also really don't like grumpy people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Negativity. Yeah. What are you trying to say? Huh? I don't like you. 
<laughs> oh, that's what you're trying to. Oh, if you're grumpy. Really very nice, I guess. I think you should eat a Snickers. You're being kind of a diva. Hmm. No product placement. Oh, I think Come you on. should eat a generic candy bar. That's something that a like Snaggers. I feel like whenever <laughs> I see a, whenever I am like you know going on a date with a girl and she start, tries to product place something, uh, it's such a turn off. You know? Yeah, I yeah. Get, the, I get that. They'll take Just a sip like, of their drink and yeah. have to tell me about the brand. Yeah, it's like they take a sip and they're like, oh. Rolling Rock, it's good on the rock. soul. Yeah. I went on a date with this girl the other day, and she just like kept trying to talk me into opening a bank account. Oh. Did mean, you go on a bank at Wells Fargo? Yeah, it was at date? Wells Fargo. Just with whoever was behind the counter. Yeah. Oh, I think that's, I see. That's a date, right? Where you went wrong? Huh. Is that not how dating works? And sometimes, what's a date for you isn't necessarily a date for the other person. I refuse like, to believe that. Like a bank teller, they're just doing their job. Whereas but they seem so happy to see me. I'd like true. to get more of that. Yeah. You need to stop trying to go on dates at the bank. Yeah. Date banks. Well, I guess I've never been on a date then. Don't ever huh. go on a date where it's the, where the person works. Mm-hmm. That's All a right. good rule. Mm. Oh. Fair. Yeah. What if they don't work? Then, then you don't can, go on a date with you them. You can't go on a date anywhere because everywhere is kind of their fake They're job. D- like what if they ask for money on the side of the road? <laughs> then you can't walk on the side of the road you can with walk them anywhere. In the middle mm-hmm. of the road and hang out in parks. True. Because you don't ask for money in parks because that's super creepy. Uh, that's mm. weird. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, you that's sleep. Th- they would then, if they were homeless, they would sleep there in the park. Or under an overpass. But I guess that's okay. You can go on a date, I guess, where someone sleeps. You could sleeps. spend the night with them and just sleep in the park. Sometimes going on a date where someone sleeps is the best kind of date. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> uh, yep. I hey know girl, some, I know some yeah. stuff. Like a bed date. When you want to go on a date? Um, sure. I got, I, I've got this place in mind. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I sleep there. Oh okay. That sounds like fun. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> Is it a park? Cool. Good to meet. I mean, <laughs> anywhere could be somewhere you sleep as well. I That's mean, true. Yeah, I've definitely here. slept at a job before. Yeah, I've I've fallen but asleep it, in a park or two. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Have yeah. you actually ever fallen asleep on the job? Yes. Yes. No. Same. I have. Not once. at my current one, but no, me neither. I fell asleep once. Um, I worked at a retail place, and it was like a small place. And I fell asleep, and I woke up to a customer being like, "What the fuck are you doing asleep?" <laughs> 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 and I'd only gotten one hour of sleep the night before. Wow. And I went to work, so I was like super tired. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I fell asleep and woke up to the customer being like really pissed at me which was kind of weird that they cared yeah if yeah. i walked into a, a a retail store and they were asleep i would just be like hey i okay, would definitely yeah. like screw with that person like yeah that would i would have i would have drawn a dick on their face <laughs> obviously yeah, yeah. <laughs> empty the register maybe or like just to start whispering in their ear super quiet hey if oh, you're some warm water yeah. if you if you get That's a new a job guess. and it's like drawing something with your breath would you tell everybody that you got a new blowjob? <laughs> no. no, I'd say if I got a if I got a blowjob, I I would tell everybody I got a new blowjob or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, right, well, well, how like, do you get an old blowjob? I was gonna say I feel like if a girl did something like I'd never seen before, I might tell somebody I got a new blowjob. Like, okay, take out the word. I don't no. know what, you yeah, how you can say. It. Yeah, I got a blowjob. Uh, maybe if I like blue glass. Yeah. She like wrap sure. my balls around classic, my dick real classic quick and glass it. Blow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was crazy. I didn't think it'd work, but it was great. Hey, which would you guys rather see take a dong, a horse or a rhino? Rhino. Rhino. Yeah. Sure, rhino. You would think you would say rhino, but you'd be wrong. It's actually horse. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you for telling me, as always, what I think. Yep, nice try. If you could change your name to any other name, what would it be? Blaze Firestormer. Doppelganger. The beard. (laughs) Yeah, good one. (laughs) Uh, It's that time. It's time for all you guys to get up and get out of here. All right, now that they're gone. Thanks for for tuning into the Radio Nomad, as always. um, We appreciate you, and we appreciate your questions, comments, and concerns, you can always email us at theradionomad.gmail.com. Like Damon did today, he had a really good point about... Uh, talking about conversations see i listen i pay attention so um yeah we'll definitely appreciate that you can check us out on social media anything you want um it's joe bag donuts from up studio sending out 
Nomad. Whenever but it goes on.